for asserting affordable drugs are a basic human right, a patented living legend, YK Hamid. We are the largest pharmaceutical generic company in the world. Business and the humanitarian work that we do, particularly in the area of healthcare, is very, very important. What is the point of developing new and life-saving drugs if they're not accessible to the common man worldwide? <clears throat> Honorable Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's an honor and privilege to be here, and I'll relate one or two events in life that have shaped me for the future, and I would like to share two experiences with you. The first lesson learned was the value of self-reliance and self-sufficiency. In the year 1939, at the start of World War II, Mahatma Gandhi visited our company and stressed the necessity to produce our own medicines as there was an acute shortage of supplies from the Western world. This advice gave us the opportunity to write our own destiny. And in the second thing that we learned in life, following from this, that the cornerstone of individual and collective success is education. And for this, there is no compromise. If India is to keep pace in the 21st century, maximum emphasis has to be given to education. Education by itself, however, is not enough. And the next lesson is that we must implement our knowledge to contribute to society, specifically in areas where we are proficient and where we have competence. It is therefore imperative for the country and for India to create opportunities where we can put our knowledge to use. Individual success, however, does not make a person great. What really matters is his contribution to society and improving the lives of his fellow men. It is an accepted fact that age correlates with conservatism. Time has a lesser impact on an older population. Future generations will be more time conscious and faster paced. Any delay, therefore, in meeting India's present needs will be acutely felt by our children. We must not linger and must avail of every opportunity today for a better tomorrow so that we may transform India to the land of our dreams. Finally, uh, congratulations to NDTV on the 25th anniversary. Please go on uh, to score a half century and go on to score a century pranoi at the wicket of life. Thank you. Yeah.